this has been something that's been rumored to be coming to the MCU in some form of fashion, one way or another, since like 2012. And that's yep. Nova in live action. Now, obviously, um, early on in the MCU, once Guardians was a success, we heard, look, the cosmic side of the MCU, that's the new focus. And now they're kind of going in all sorts of different directions. So, it, I, you know, I don't know what to really make of it, but clearly Nova is something that will happen. And we keep getting a new report. It seems like every three months, it's like, ah, here's the status of Nova. And it's always... Nova's still in development. It's like, all right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I think, I think the last time we actually heard about it was near enough bang on a year ago. Yeah. Um, like, almost a day a year ago. And then it's just like, oh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's in development. It's like, yeah, we knew that. So my reaction to this is the same as it was the last time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, you, do you think anything's moved forward? Like, <laughs> I mean, they might have taken it from a name in a notebook to actually thinking about it a bit more. That's probably the extent of the development going yeah. on right now. Like, uh. it's it's kind of like in the circles we hang around with and some of the people we talk to online, you know, quote unquote, the stupid scoopers, right? As it's been, you know, called. It's like, we hear things that are in development or scripts and all that. And like Ironheart, for example, like most of us in those circles have known about that script going around for years now yeah. because yeah. Nova, everybody I talk to, nobody's even heard of a script that's like it being in the early stages. So honestly, I still think it's quite a ways off. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. It's, this is way off. Yeah. Definitely um, way off. I, like, what what would you say? I would say probably at this point, late phase five, maybe? Like, uh... um, I mean, we don't know what phase five is, really. Yeah. Uh, we know a few things, but at this point, it's like, who even knows? Right. With everything going on, what everything's going to look like at this point. So, uh, exactly. Late Phase 5 would probably make more sense, given everything going on. I mean, if I was to guess Phase 5, it's going to be like Phase 4 and 3 and 2 before it. Few established things, so more Captain Marvel, more Black Panther. Mm. But then you're going to toss in, obviously, we know Fantastic Four, X-Men, Wolverine. You toss a Nova in there, that's a pretty good you know, yeah. money maker. Like, yeah, it's not as big as the other ones, but you roll that out of Captain Marvel 2 or something, which has been a rumor that that's where he's going to appear. It's like, I, I could see that as a uh, good kickstart into the future, you know? Like, okay, here's Nova. You've got him after 20 years of development. So <laughs> it is it is what it is. Um, now, what a full 20 years, damn. Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you think, though, Disney plus her movie... See, at this point, who knows? Mm. Before you had, you could, there's an obvious definition between it. It's like, oh, Marvel Studios project. It's like, cool, it's clearly a movie. Yeah. Marvel Entertainment project, cool, it's clearly a TV show. And that same thing, it's like, it could be either one. Yeah. I'd imagine a movie, because he leads quite nicely into an Annihilators, which is a really nice replacement for Guardians. So you'd want your big cosmic team in the movies, but <laughs> it could be either or. Well, it could be both, for all we know. That's true. I mean, I would personally love it if we got, you know, Ryder in the movie side and Sam on the Disney Plus side. Mm -hmm. Like, that'd be kind of really cool. Like, it's like, oh, two different Novas coexisting in different mediums. All right. Like, yeah. And that's two vastly different Novas. Exactly. So, you know, you can span that out. And you mentioned the Annihilators, which I think, you know, that's obviously I'm a fanboy of the Annihilators. Just look at that entire team. Like, Plus, that's Surfer on it, so of course I have to be a you know giant <laughs> fanboy of it. But I think you mentioned Guardians in there. It's I don't think Guardians ends with three. Like I think that's going to exist forever. Like I mean, it, it could quite easily, but we at least we know James Gunn has said this is the last movie with this team in it. Yeah. So maybe they you know they're not obviously not going to change the Avengers name to something different. Like they could cool. have a new Avengers, but you still got that name there. So maybe they just have the annihilators be the guardians it would still make sense mm -hmm. it's just the same team different name but yeah you know at the same time why have why not have both that's true as well i mean they realistically could it could mm -hmm. work it's well i mean if we're getting to the point where we're getting four to five mcu films a year i i, I mean <laughs> like okay like especially have... if they could make like the big team up movies 
like all like all be like Avengers. So they're big, oh massive tent poles. It's like let's not have one like consistent billion dollar team up movie. Let's have four. Well, let's have one every eighteen months. Oh my god. That would be too much. <laughs> yeah, it's like let's drop one November and then a year and a half in May and then a year and a half in like August or something. Yeah, that, I think honestly that's probably the way they're gonna have to go because they are getting to that point where everything they put out is becoming a billion dollar name. It's like, mm. Mm. so yeah, it's it's kind of how it's gonna go. And I mean, X Men obviously the first X Men is gonna be probably the biggest X Men film of all time like easily when it comes to box office so uh, i mean the, the rate they're going people are going to forget what the x-men are because they no, can't don't remember they're, cyclops <laughs> yeah. they're not they're, they're not gonna like start even think well they have obviously been thinking about it but you know they're not gonna do it until new mutants has been and gone and oh. that movie's like a perpetual spot on the ass yeah of release dates it's just not going away they're trying away. to make people forget yeah mm-hmm. Oh yeah, but they—it's just like it's there. <laughs> they have to put this movie out, like put it out, Disney. Got yeah, to. yeah. I, I don't know. Like the future seems pretty good. Nova, multiple other projects. Hell, I mean, for all we know, do Nova and what's the Space X Men? Is that the Star Jammers? Am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah with uh, I think it was, was it Cyclops's dad. Yeah. Is yeah. The yes. Captain. Yo, I, I want that in a movie. Like, Space Pirates? Hell yes. Like, yes. D- just give me that. <laughs> that's... My only thing is that's kind of what the Guardians are, but at the same time, it's like, oh, well, let's oh, just have two. True, uh, it's like the Guardian it. Ravagers almost, like a perfect yeah. matchup of the two. Yeah. I mean, you suppose you could just make the Star Jammers an offshoot of Ravagers now. Mm-hmm. That's uh, true. Since, since Yondu's gone, we're doing our own thing. We're going to be Star Jammers. I mean, that could work. So... Yeah, um, uh, you know, I think people are always pretty vocal about Nova. They're like, mm. they want them. I, I just want to see what Marvel Studios is honestly going to deliver. It's like, if Nova happens, I'll be happy. If he doesn't happen, there's plenty of other things that, you know, that are coming that'll pretty much make people, you know, forget about Nova. So, either way. But which one would you want? Ooh, um... Because we know, I, I'd imagine they're clearly leaning more on the Richard Ryder side because he was going to be the one in Infinity War and Endgame. Yep. Yeah. So that's probably like that's the one I'd want to start with anyway. So, so here's the thing: I'm gonna say something controversial. They're mm. gonna give us Richard Ryder, but he's actually gonna have a character. <laughs> no, that Richard Ryder has a character. Come on now. He's kind don't, of don't boring. Don't do the man. Don't do the he's man. Ki- don't he's kind. He's kind of like. That. He's kind of like Hal Jordan. He has he's a character, really but he's, he's boring. Really... He's no, boring. I, I, could I, not, I could not accept that. I could not accept that. No. I, look at, I, what, I'm, what is his I'm character, though? Tr- Anytime I read him, he's just, like, stoic hard. Like, I'm just, like, oh. Um... He's, nah, 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 nah. You've read bad Nova, then. M- maybe. M- that might be it, because I'm not the biggest fan of Richard Ryder, because I, I was, the first time I ever picked him up, I can't remember where it was. I can't recall. I did like him in Annihilators, but that's completely different, you know, so... That was the best run or best time for anything Cosmic Marvel. So. Mm, that's true. I don't, I'd want. I think they would do a MCU style where they use the basis, but they make him a little bit more. However, Feige envisions him to be, which honestly works for me. Just like do whatever you will. It's probably going to be no like Richard Ryder, though. It just makes sense. Like he's he's got more name value than Sam Alexander. Just just yeah. how it is. Yeah. Because my thing is, is you know, Nova is a legacy character, mm-hmm. and so far their legacy characters have been very fifty-fifty. Yeah. Like sometimes we get the legacy, sometimes we don't. I don't know. Other times it's just like, oh, here is the newer version, but here the older one is literally old, like Ant Man. And so I wouldn't want an Ant Man situation. Yeah. Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet yeah. I wanna... give Ryder three minutes at least. Right. I'd want to see him grow into the Ant Man situation. Yeah. Kind of like Iron Boy Jr., like just like that. Oh. It's the same thing. That's oh. that's why we got him. Oh, Picking no. up the mantle. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that's sarcasm, people. That's sarcasm. Oh. Oh. Uh, so I think we're all agreed, Richard Ryder. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. 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 I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like Dick Ryder, yeah. Yeah, everybody will agree with that. So there we go.